What's up, my digger? Oh, digger. You ain't looking so good. I don't think it's supposed to do that at all. And a lot of people in this circumstance would just get rid of their digger and go get a new digger. The problem is if you get a new digger, you might just have the same problem. Wobbly head falling off. Now, if you don't give up on your digger and you repair it stronger than it was before, then you can get a digger better than anything you could buy. So I think I'm going to go with option B. I do have another one of these with a not wobbly head, although the handle part is wobbly back here. So I can yank that out and put this there, just like I did that before. And then this one, I think I've got to, I've got to take more drastic measures. Yeah. I should be able to make a shovel out of part of a shovel. Luckily, when I made this, I was thinking ahead. And I used a bolt, which means I can take it apart. Nice job making this. All right, I'm gonna get that out. Right. Hmm. All right. At least a five percent chance this will work. Oh no! Come on, you get out of there! Trying to get the last one apart was any indication I don't really need the bolt in here. But I think I'll put it in anyway. Anyway, all stainless now. And hopefully this one has a better weld here than that other one. Oh, you need to go back. Go oh, back. Digger, you are looking good. Alright, guess I'm back in business. Alright. Now that other digger. Canyon? 
Should I take care of the other digger now? What other digger? Yeah. This one. I don't know. I have an idea. I want to take a stainless steel pipe, put it on here, like flare the end out, and then rivet it right onto this. So I got these stainless steel shovels a while ago. They did not have stainless steel handles. So those don't last. But the end part is really heavy duty, like it's thick metal. Uh, this one had a bad weld on it. Maybe when they ground it down, they just ground it too far. Hopefully this one has a better weld. Regardless, I am gonna fancy up this one. Since it is stainless steel, this part's all really nice. And if I rivet something right onto there, uh, if anything goes wrong, it would just be the rivets and I can re-rivet it. Well, unless I'm stupid and like bend the handle or something. Anyway, right now it's dinner time. I've got one functional digger. I'm going to eat. Alright, it's tomorrow. And I think I want to take care of that shovel. I know I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I only wore it for like an hour yesterday. Ooh, it smells good. Alright, shovel. What is going on here? Is that... Is that just full of dirt? I don't know. Do I need to cut all... Maybe if I just cut all that off, I can just take this off. Because I think... I think I can get a... You know, I could obviously weld this back on, but I want to try something else. Is that a crack? There's a crack right there. What the... Arr. I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, it is a crack right there. Cripes. Alright. Now this is welded onto here. It looks like it's welded on with stainless stuff, but this is not stainless, so it's... It's not useful. Maybe I'll just cut it off here and get rid of that. Alright, that should be cleaned up enough. I wonder if the person who invented angle grinders realized that they would become the tool for everything. Alright, brain. Figure out this one. You can cut and rivet, but no welding. I think... Yeah. I think I know how to do that. Alright. Two cuts. I hope those aren't too far apart. Mm, that should be all right. All right, take that sucker off. My cuts still go a little further, and that's basically going to go like that with the shovel going into these slots, which I'll have to widen a bit. And I need to bend that out, flatten this. Yeah. Definitely could have made those closer together. Uh, it should be fine though. Hmm. I definitely should have made these two cuts closer so this part would be thinner, but then this would be taller because this was taller would have a lot more strength. But I can either, you know, cut this off and do it again, or I can just use it till it breaks and then do it again. Then maybe I'll learn something else. Alright, I think a bit of hammering can... here and a couple in the back. 
and I drilled the first hole. Has put a bolt in it temporarily. Make sure everything's lined up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I'll drill the rest of the holes and then put all the rivets in. Well, this isn't the easiest thing to hold. All right. <laughs> Oh, nice. Dude, that's awesome. They were all in the hill. Like, they were in a pile all of... came up better than I was thinking. Well, I guess that is roughly what I was thinking. It just seems like it's going to be really sturdy. Especially after all that pounding I did to make it. This shovel should be able to take a pounding. The only issue might be, you know, dirt's going to get stuffed in here as I'm and kind of compact in there, but it might not be a big problem. I was thinking this was kind of thin. I don't know. That is pretty strong. And I hammered it this way so it would be taller this way to give it a bit more strength. Alright, I got a little kid over here. I better go help him. There, now you can test both of them. Oh, even old super shovel. But you know what? I like the one I just did. It just feels good. It probably has something to do with not having this skinny part. It's hard to see right now in the camera. It's real sunny. But you know, shovels always have the, the big head and then the skinny part where it breaks. But this one, the handle is just the same thickness right down to the shovel. So, yeah. Oh, and there's also something else I wanted to see. I've been trying to think of something I could put on the bottom of this, uh, the wheelbarrow, which is obviously upside down right now. Um, not really as legs, but just to lift the handles off the ground in case I'm ever in soft ground. Right now, it hasn't been a problem. But I think. I can get one of the, a piece of that thicker pipe and just put it right across there and use those two two bolts to hold it on. Yeah, like that. Now that should hit the ground. My handle should still be up. I just heard a dolphin over here. All right, I got my two shovels done. I got my wheelbarrow, augmented size. Painted the bottom of my kayak silver. What else is going on today? I don't know. Where's that dolphin? I think the green shovel's heavier. Yeah, test them. Where I go and got this pile of dirt size. All right, in your completely non-quantitative opinion, what's a better shovel? Hmm. Oh, I have to try again. <laughs> All right, we might be here for a little bit. Hold on. Hold on, I think I've got a verdict. Uh, which one do you like better? Which one do you like more? I like the lighter one better. Which one's that? It's this one. The magic one, the Papa made? Yeah, but I want, oh yeah. I want this handle. So you want a circle on the on that one? No, I like this handle way it feels. Oh, uh, like plastic coating-ish. Plastic. Plastic? You want plastic? Um, 
Do you still want plastic if I say it like that? 